Hey everybody, welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to show you how you can export your work as a 3D model in Minecraft Education Edition. All right, let's have a look. So here we have a little model. So we've just kind of made a house, with a fence and a yard on it. And what we want to do is I want to export this model. So you could obviously in a typical situation, there's lots of ways of looking at students work. You could, you know, go around and have a look. You might actually take the world and walk around yourself, but there is, you know, a bit of work involved in that. So we can do this thing where if we just want a model of it, so a three dimensional model of it, we can export it. And this works particularly well on Windows 10 devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something called a structure block. So if I click um, on, sorry, press on E on my keyboard to open up my inventory here on the search bar, I'm going to start writing in structure and there we go. So I'm going to pick up this structure block and I'm going to place it here in the hot bar because this is what we're going to need. And I'm just going to come around the corner here and I want to place the structure block outside of what I've built. Okay, there's no point of it being inside and you'll see in a reason why. So if I come down here and I place it and there it is. So I've got my structure block and these lines have appeared. So we have a couple of lines and these are, kind of, these are like our coordinates in a way. So we've got this Y, the green one here is our Y coordinate. And you probably see this one if I drop down here. So we've got this red one here, red is our X and there should be a blue one here, which is our Z coordinate. And then what we can see is like this box and basically everything inside of that box is what we'll export as a 3D model. So to have a look at that, so you can see here, we've kind of captured just the corner of that wall. So if I come down and I click on here, there it is there. I can see the corner of that wall and there is my 3D model so far. So let's concentrate first of all here on our red line. So our red line here is our X and it's set to five. So these are our default values. Okay, five is obviously not long enough. So I want to extend it. So let's, you know, we could, we're going to guess these. You could by all means step the blocks out. But let's go 10. Nope, still not there. I reckon let's go like 25. Oh, I think I've actually nailed that perfectly there. That's the front of the fence right there at the um, top there. So our wire looks pretty good, but we need, we are missing the rest of the house. So we're going to do the next one here, which is very hard to see, but there's a blue line there. So we're going to do the Z coordinate. Now it shouldn't be 25. It should be less than that because I kind of did this rectangular. Oh, very, very close. I still need to pick up the fence. So I'm just going to go up in twos. So I'm changing the Z over here from 15 to 17. So this is our size. Almost there. Let's try 18. And sometimes that's all it is. It's just a bit of trial and error. There we go. Look at that. It's getting there, isn't it? So we can see the house, but the tree is chopped off. Okay. And the roof is missing. So we need to do the Y, which is this green one here. So if I come back out, let's just double it. The Y is kind of a little, normally a little bit easier because you can kind of have a bit of head space at the top. You don't want to go too high. You can see there with the lines, there's very faint white lines. I could probably, you know, drop that down to, oops, drop it down to eight. There we go, perfect. Now that was there for our size. So I've now got a 3D model of my house. The thing is though, I might not want this under part here, and this is called our offset. Okay, if we don't want, in this case, I do want it, but if we don't want it, what we need to do is see here with this Y, I need to change that. So if I were to change that to a zero in the offset, see how it disappears? Now, the thing is, is I kind of lose the floor. So you do need to think about whether you want the base that you're building on it. Maybe that you might need to like build a base to build on top of the base so that you can slice one off the top of the other. But in this case, I do actually want it. So I'm going to leave that back there on a negative one. Okay. And there we go. And I've got my model ready to export. Now, before we export it, let's just jump out really quickly. And I'll just, you know, try to further explain that. So there was our structure block and you might've remembered the space around it. And you can see now if I follow these lines, 
this is what is going around. So this is what is going to be exported. Okay. So let's click back down on our structure block. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks good. I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm going to click here on export. And we're going to wait. There we go. Let's just, um, hopefully my desktop is not too messy, but we're going to pop it on the desktop. I can rename it if I like. We're going to leave it as a GLB file. We're going to go save. Okay, and that's going to export for us. Now, all I need to do is if I go back to here to my desktop, there it is, my structure block. I can double click on that one. We're going to wait for it. So I'm using Windows 10, so we're using 3D UA here. You may need a third party software if you are using something else, but I am not even in Minecraft anymore. And there is the model that I made. Okay, I can take that model, you know, I can place it into mixed reality if need be. Is my, oh, no, that rendered. But yeah. Oh, I don't have the camera on, but there we go. But we get the general idea. We can come through and manipulate that how we um, see fit. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you get some good use out of it. See you again soon.